What is up friends on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. And this right here is the ROG Flow X13 Mobile, one of ROG's top tier laptops in 2021. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my personal experience using this bad boy as my daily driver for the past 30 days or so. So let's do this. All right, so let's start off with the feel in the hand. I honestly am very particular about how a keyboard feels or how a keystroke reacts on every key press. And this is mainly because of how long I've been exposed to MacBooks. With the ROG Flow X13, it amplified or heightened my expectations when we're talking about a great feel in the hand experience. The body has this textured finish, the key has this satisfying travel on every press, and if my memory serves me right, the typing experience that I've enjoyed with my previous ROG Strix is no different or if not so much better. Probably one of the highlights of the ROG Flow X13 Mobile is the screen. To some this might be small, coming at 13.4 inches, but this is covered in Gorilla Glass protection as opposed to the common laptop that has a plastic screen. That same screen has a 360 degree hinge that allows users to be versatile for any situation, be it propped up for regular use, surface, or tent mode, or tablet mode, should you feel the need to utilize it that way. Though amongst the three, as convenient as the tablet mode is because of the touchscreen functionality, it is a bit strange since you're not exactly dealing with programs designed for touch responses. Instead, these are actual programs and actual browsers so this may seem weird for some. Under the hood, the Flow X13 comes equipped with a wide range of configurations, but this bad boy right here has an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS with a Radeon graphics chip, 16GB of RAM, and a terabyte of built-in storage. To me personally, these specifications are both new and doesn't exactly mean anything, since for the most part that I've used laptops, be it a Windows machine or a Mac, are usually Intel-based, so this was rather interesting considering how amazingly fast and powerful this is from the get-go. Now, one thing worth mentioning, and I find strange, is that this came with a front-facing camera, as opposed to the other newly released ROG laptops that didn't, so I'm not sure if this is now considered a premium feature, but it is something worth mentioning. Now, in terms of actual gaming performance, since this is technically a machine geared towards that market, it was amazing. I used to have this notion that a gaming laptop needs to be bulky and massive to cater to so much specs, but this defies that with its compact overall form factor. Now if you crave the extra ports or you feel like you want to prop it up to a much bigger screen and transform this into an actual workstation, you can do so with the use of the XG Mobile, which not only works as an external hub, but also amplifies the graphics processing capabilities of the Flow 13. This basically means this can actually give gamers that edge of having more when gaming, though I personally never had the need for it, and it can be quite a challenge to set up considering the size of it. For me personally, the internals alone is more than capable, so having to have the XG Mobile on the side is a nice assurance, but for me personally, it's not a necessity. I mean, sure, it is small enough to fit a bag, but that's added weight right there, which can be a bit of a drag if you'll be on the commute. Now, what I do appreciate with the Flow Extra G Mobile is it comes with some ROG signature pouches and sleeves, so you're not left alone having to scour online stores for ideal bag and container. Now, of course, if you're planning to get one for yourself, that would be the best time since this is included with the shared 2021 bundles from ASUS Philippines. Of course, this works well if you have the complete gear of ROG stuff, but even without it or the XG Mobile, you're still getting a rather immersive and powerful yet compact machine that can dish out serious performance, be it for content or for gaming. Overall, this is a treat not worth passing up, especially if you're like me, a content creator by passion who has a burning desire for gaming. In any case, that's pretty much it for my review of the ROG Flow X13 Mobile. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or inquiries, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and unboxing videos. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next. Oh.